Hello everyone, my name is Senia and today I'll be sharing with you an art project that I really enjoy doing and that it is. I got my inspiration from many different sources but probably the most relevant one is related to romanticism. I'll talk more about that later. It all started with this book, Art. Everything you need to know about the greatest artists and their work by Susie Hodge. I really thought it would be proper to give it a shout out because it's a very good book, especially if you are not an expert and you are just interested in learning more. It is an excellent introduction to art. That is how I got my inspiration for this project when I was reading about the Romantic era and its painters, one that really caught my eye was Caspar David Friedrich. Maybe because of the current situation we are all in with the COVID-19 pandemic, which has made us analyze things in a more introspective way. Friedrich was very introspective himself. He once said, the artist should not only paint what he sees before him, but also what he sees in himself. And I think that is one of the greatest examples of how connected he was with his inner world and how he transmitted it through his artwork. Personally, I can relate with his style a lot, especially with my photography. I never realized how similar my photos were to his artwork until I recently discovered him. So all this time I've been a bit influenced by romanticism and I was not even aware of it. One of the paintings that really caught my eye is this one. It reminded me of another picture of mine that I decided to use as the inspiration for my painting. However, there are many things wrong about the composition of this picture, especially this branch that looks very weird over my head. So what I want to do is to move the girl to the center of the image and use the branches as a um, frame for my subject. I also want to edit the colors a bit, maybe make them warmer and more desaturated. Um, yeah, I also want to see the background more. Finally, I want to make some changes in the way she's dressing. But uh, right now, I'll show you the edited image. As you can see, I already did the changes that I wanted. Um, this is basically for me uh, to have a better reference when I'm mixing colors. It makes the job easier, at least for me. By the way, as a disclaimer, I have to say that I'm not a professional artist. I have not received academic instruction as an artist. So I cannot give you professional advice about techniques or similar things. I do it just for fun. But yeah, I just thought it would be good to clarify that. Let's get into work now. First, I start with a very quick sketch, not a detailed one because later I'll be painting with acrylics and I'll be covering most of it anyway, so there's no point. Um, but it's just for me to have a better idea of where to place the objects. Visually, it makes it easier for me when I'm painting. When painting with acrylics, be mindful that they dry really fast, so you will need to add water constantly. Besides that, I don't have many rules, but maybe in a landscape like this, I would start with the sky first, because later I'll be painting over it. But yeah, 
it's like I do most of it by instinct um, sometimes I will start with the mid-tones and then start painting over them uh, other times I would start with the darkest color and then I'll do the details um, sometimes I would even start by painting the with them lighter tone for example with the main tree I started by painting with the lightest brown and then I did the rest but yeah most of the time I just do what feels right at the moment And there you go, that's the final painting. Thanks for watching, bye!